Our team, me and my team, we actually stand at the front end, if you want, of the technology development. So we develop new technologies and intervention tools for the wells. We deal a lot with companies. We have a lot of conference calls, meetings. We do also some interesting in-house development as well. I'm, I'm actually I'm a technology-driven person. I love to look at new technologies, implement those new technologies within field or another, right? But my background is actually a mechatronics engineer. We deal a lot with automation, mechatronics subsystems, or even robotics. Now, the most interesting thing about Saudi Aramco is the influence that Saudi Aramco has. But there's a lot of responsibility in shaping the way that the energy section would look like in the next coming decade. Aramco has the capability to steer the industry and to steer the technology. Recently, me and a group of friends, we bought a new boat called Miraya. I'm from Jordan, so we don't have that much sea space if you want. But coming here, it's actually a very convenient place, very appropriate. We have the Yacht Club and the uh, Half Moon Bay. So we normally go five or six people together there. We hang out, sail for a little bit, maybe do barbecue that day or whatever. So it's quite an interesting activity, a regular activity that we do every weekend. Another interesting part is actually to capsize and flip, <laughs> flip the boat and the uh, but you have to make sure that you have the capabilities to bring it back and try to sell it back to the beach. When you talk about Aramco, it's not just work that comes to your mind. Work is really interesting. You can have a lot of fun doing work, but as well as the whole community itself. Aramco is more of a place that you belong to rather than a place that you work for. My name is Mohanad Abdelaziz. I work with the production technology team of Expec Arc, Saudi Aramco.